Hello YouTube and welcome to my first review video. In this video I'm going to be comparing the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Advanced C1. In this video we're going to be comparing both coolers in two areas, installation and temperatures. I will not be comparing sound levels because I don't have the equipment to measure sound levels properly and the PC where both of these coolers were tested is very loud because of my old hard drive and noisy power supply. I therefore cannot do a good comparison of the sound levels that are produced during load. We're starting with the Hyper 2 and 2 EVO, also known as a Swiss Army knife of CPU coolers, as it is very cheap to buy and very hard to beat if you're on a budget. This cooler has been around since its introduction in October 2011. The 2 and 2 EVO is still being recommended today and you can order a new one from Amazon for $29. The Be Quiet Dark Rock Advance was launched in June 2011, only a couple months before the 2 and 2 EVO and it looks great with a full black heatsink and a black 120mm fan. This cooler is more than two times as expensive and comes in at $62 or £40 if you live in the UK. The UK Amazon does not ship to the US or other parts of Europe and this cooler is not available from the US Amazon store. Now I'm going to talk about installation. The 2 and 2 EVO is very easy to install and I don't think I need to talk too much about this cooler. It can be installed by one person and the manual that comes with it is pretty easy to follow. You can install the cooler in 30 minutes if your case has a motherboard cutout. You simply place the back plate behind the motherboard and screw it in from the front of the motherboard. You can then place the cooler on top of the screws you just used to install the back plate and start gaming. The story changes a bit with the dark rock. The cooler needs to be installed by two people. The manual that comes with it is not updated for socket 1150 and it is very hard to follow. So I'm going to try to explain how to install this cooler. Install the proper brackets for your socket layout. In this case you use the ones with only one hole. You put the screws through the center hole on the back plate and place these tiny plastic rings on top of it like this. After you've done this, person 1 needs to keep pressure on the back plate and all four of the screws so they don't fall out. Person 2 then grabs the four included black rings and puts these on top of the screws. Person 1 then needs to apply some thermal paste and tries to align the brackets with the screws. Person 1 now needs to screw the 4 screws in and you're done. It took me 2 hours to figure this out by myself and I needed to create my own person too. Up next, temperatures. I will now show the max temperatures that I've recorded in a long gaming session using Open Hardware Monitor. I combined the temperatures of the 4 cores and CPU package on my i5-4460 and divided them by 5. The outcome of that is shown in this footage. Enjoy. As you can see, the Dark Rock scored 2 to 3 degrees higher than a 2 and 2 EVO in every test. I think this is partly my fault, because I may have used a bit too much thermal paste, as you can see here. However, you can see that the distance between the CPU and heatsink fan is bigger on the Dark Rock. The heat needs to travel a bigger distance before it can be dissipated by the fan. The Cooler Master Hyper 2 and 2 EVO is the clear win in this video because of the price, availability, ease of installation and temperatures. The Be Quiet Dark Rock is however not bad. I think you should choose a Dark Rock if you really want a black CPU or really need the room for your RAM modules. Thank you for checking out my first review. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this review and I will see you in the next video.